Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to get this really super glowy, summery look. I am obsessed. Um, so yeah, if the lighting is a lot different, it's because I'm using my, my ring light. Um, so yeah, because it's kind of cloudy and dreary out, and it's just wasn't enough light. <laughs> um, so yeah. I got all ready for you guys today and I am excited to show you guys how to do this makeup and I do have to say it feels so nice to kind of, is that my dog barking? <laughs> Sorry about that. But I have to say it's so nice to get back to filming and everything because everything has been, just been so stressful today and not today but like just recently and everything and it felt really good to take a hot shower, blow out my hair, and to get ready and to sit down with you guys and get ready. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this summery, glowy look, whatever I'm going to call it, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys! Alright you guys, starting off by clipping back my hair to get it all out of my face and we are going to be starting off with primer. Starting off with the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm, I'm going to be working that into my skin. I love this stuff. First off, it smells amazing. And second, it does have some moisturizing properties which is awesome for dry skin and also glycerin is the second pro product in it so that just makes it stick onto your face like glue. Going in with the Elf Illuminating Face Primer, I wanted to give my skin a dewy look, and this just does it for me. Um, it did fall up on my skin. It was a little weird, but once you work it into your skin and melt it in, it is absolutely gorgeous and gives such a luminous finish. I love it. So, going in with the Elf Cream HD Foundation in Caramel and using a Real Technique buffing brush, I'm going to start doing a little cream contouring slash bronzing to really give some color and life back to my skin. Then going in and doing the same to not just under my cheekbones but my forehead and any other places that I would normally bronze up the skin. Going in now with the Maybelline <laughs> Fit Me Foundation, not foundation, concealer. This is the first time I used this, which I was really surprised on how much I really liked it. When I swatched it on the back of my hand, it felt very light, and I wasn't sure how much it was going to cover, and I'm not wearing any foundation today, so I was a little worried, but I ended up really liking the blendability of it, the color, as well as how much it covered, and I was surprised on how lightweight it is and for how much it did cover. So I would 100% recommend this as of right now. I really liked it. So going under my eyes, chin, bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my jawline, basically everywhere that I want to show more. And then I'm going in and using a Real Technique sponge to blend it all out. This was the first time I used a Real Technique sponge. Um, and so far, so good. I really liked it. I just never got around to trying it, even though it is super, super affordable and from the drugstore. And it is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> but I ended up really liking it. It is a little bit different from the Beauty Blender, but I am going to play around with it a little bit more and see how I like it. And I will let you guys know how I get along with it. But I just am just dabbing it on my skin, blending everything out. But I do have to say, I love this flat edge. I think it's genius. And I really liked it around my eyes as well as it still has that little pointy bit at the other end. Going back in with that cream contour foundation shade that I use because I feel like one, it was light when I first put it on but I didn't want to go overboard and second that when I put the concealer on I looked so pale that I need to bring a little bit more life to my skin. Setting my under eyes with these two colors from the NYX, um, not the HD highlight and contour palette and I'm just going under my eyes and and basically everywhere where I put down concealer. Simple as that. Next I'm going to be bronzing the skin using my Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. If you guys watch my channel you know I love this stuff and I'm using this on a big Morphe brush. The reason I love this stuff is because it has such a beautiful luminosity in it that it just makes the skin so glowy and dewy and summery and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. 100% recommend. <laughs> 
Now going in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown, I'm going to be defining my eyebrows, my barely there, very sad eyebrows. I look like a little bit of an alien when I don't have eyebrows on, especially when I have a full face of makeup on. I look super duper weird. So I don't do anything special for my brows. I'm really just filling them in and defining them and making them look, you know, like they're there and fuller and all beautiful and whatnot. <laughs> I'm just cutting those with some Anastasia Brow Gel in clear. I didn't show it, but I am doing that. Moving on to the eyes, taking MAC Wedge and a G17 uh, brush from Morphe. I'm just going to be putting that all throughout my crease to start adding some dimension and starting the eye look. I zoomed you guys in so you have a better look. So yeah, that's what we are doing. The next color I'm going to be taking is also from Morphe, and that's Toasted Hazelnut. I guess I forgot to get a shot of it or accidentally deleted it, but that is the color that I'm using here. Um, I'm basically doing the same thing. It's a little bit warmer than Wedge, but I'm doing the same exact thing from outer corner to inner corner and really just working it in and blending it and buffing it to make sure we have no harsh lines. Super duper pretty color. Then going in with Morphe Caramelized. Love this stuff. And this is on a M441 brush from Morphe. And I wanted to darken the outer crease a little bit, but not too much. But still add, oop, <laughs> I'm dancing or something there. But still have a lot of warmth in the eye. But I didn't want it to be too, too dark. So that's why I chose that. Going in with MAC Vanilla, I'm going to highlight my brow bone. This is an oldie but a goodie. Absolutely love this. It has a nice little luminosity to it, but nothing too frosty. Absolutely love. Going in with the Laura Giller little sample of her Gelato Swirl and Gilded Honey, I'm going to be putting that on a decal brush and putting that in my inner corners to add a nice brightness in there. I'm also taking that right under my arch and I'm gonna just blend that out with my finger. Super duper simple. Moving on, what is this little bit? Up, oh, <laughs> up, oh, the Morphe S12 S palette, and I'm going to be taking that shimmery gold right there on a flat brush, mostly putting that on the inner corner and the middle of the lid, moving it more towards the end when I have less product on there. Really, really pretty color. I haven't played around with this palette too much yet, but I think I know I hauled it from my IBS. A little shopping spray <laughs> but I'm really happy that I did that going back in with that M441 with no additional product and just kind of blending everything together again no harsh lines on my eyes going back in with gilded honey on that small definer brush and I'm just popping that in the middle to add a little bit more dimension to my eyes and I'm just going to blend that out really fast just so it has a little bit more of a twinkle in the middle then going back in with Wedge, and I'm putting that right under my eye with a pencil brush, and this is such a gross view, so we're going to cut it now. <laughs> going in with Caramelize, doing the same thing, but more on the outer corner, and again, gross view. Let's cut it very soon. <laughs> going in with some Marc Jacobs eyeliner in black, I'm going to just be tight lining and tight lining my eyes. <laughs> So on the waterline, tight line, everywhere, and I was afraid that this was going to look a little too dark, but it didn't once I put everything on, but if you like a cream or white liner instead, you can 100% do that. I just like the Durant black liner. Prepping my lashes for some falsies. This is just a random mascara. Um, I have no idea where it's from <laughs> or who it's by, but just putting on some mascara and then using some Ardell Wispies. <sighs> They're beautiful, right? I'm obsessed with Ardell Wispies. So moving on for blush, I'm going to be using this little guy, which is Coralista from Benefit, on a Morphe E4 brush. Um, love this blush brush, love this blush. I know it's in a janky little container, but I just depotted it from a thing that I got that had it in there. One of my favorite sometimes blushes. Now for highlight, using the Morphe, not the Morphe, the Jaglin Hill and Becca Cosmetics Champagne Face Palette. Super duper excited. I've had this for a couple weeks absolutely beautiful i have yet to try it until today which was super duper exciting i used it for the first time on camera oh my god it is so gorgeous congrats jacqueline so i was deciding on which color to use because i couldn't 
I, I was just, I was having such a hard time. But I ended up going with Champagne Pop and of course using the Morphe 501 brush in true Jacqueline style. I was preparing myself for this. Super duper excited and uh, it was super duper creamy and blendable. If you guys want your hands on this, get it now. I swear you will not regret it. Oh my god, such a beautiful, beautiful color. Uh, and you can see I'm enjoying it. But anyway, for the summery, glowy look, I'm putting it basically everywhere that I put concealer before and adding a little bit to my eyes in the inner corner just to make them a little brighter. Absolutely beautiful highlight. Obsessed. Now I'm just actually putting it on my collarbones and I'm going to put a little bit of it on my shoulders just for a little bit of an extra glow factor. Going in with M Cosmetics lipstick in nude. Their lipsticks are so glossy by themselves and this nude is just such a perfect nude and their lipsticks are super duper creamy. Love. Need to go pick more up. Topping that off with Buxom's lip gloss in OES. It's just a nude lip gloss, but I figured my cheeks are shiny, my eyes are shiny, I want my lips to be shiny as well. So, that is it. To set it all into place, I'm using my NYX Dewy Finishing Spray and spraying that on, and that is a complete look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.